Hey there, welcome to Ben's Eco Adventure. Today we're going to talk about the Nissan Aria, cabin preconditioning, a bug, and a workaround. Let's get into it. For those who may be new to EVs or just don't know, cabin preconditioning is what you should do in the winter especially, but you can also do it in the summer to either heat or cool the cabin of your EV prior to you getting in. It is one of the great benefits of having an EV, being able to get into a comfortable car no matter what the temperature is. The main reason you'd want to do that on an EV is the EV is supposed to pull power to condition the cabin from the grid when you're still plugged in at home. So that way you can start out with a full battery, have a comfortable cabin, and you can maximize your range when you're out on the road. Hey folks, it's me from the future. I just wanted to make a point of clarification on preconditioning. When it comes to EVs, there are two types. There's cabin preconditioning and battery preconditioning. And this came about because the average EV, shout out to him, just put out a video about battery preconditioning. And I just want to make sure that there's not confusion, especially amongst the folks who are newer to EVs. Now, with that said, I am actually going to have another video coming about battery preconditioning with the Aria. This car, unfortunately, also has some quirks when it comes to the battery preconditioning system. So right now I'm gathering data and I hope to have something out to you guys soon. So stay tuned for that. All right, back to it. Unfortunately, the Nissan Aria has yet another software bug. So when you precondition the Aria, it does not pull power from the grid. And unfortunately it depletes your battery, but there is a workaround. So I'm gonna show you that and show you what you can do. So I'm going to turn on the climate here and then I'll show you what happens. So let's do that. The climate usually takes a few seconds to kick in, but it's pretty fast today. That's pretty good. So as you can see, the car is heating up right now, but the uh, Emporia, which is my energy monitor at home, is showing that the car is not pulling any power from the wall, which you don't want it to do. Fortunately, the solution is fairly simple, if a bit annoying. All you need to do once you've started the cabin preconditioning is go to the plug, unplug it, and plug it back in. That is all it takes. Now the car is charging, now the car is pulling power from the grid, so you're no longer depleting the battery. And as you can see on the energy monitor, we are now pulling the full 30 amps of power. I do realize for those of you that park outside especially, having to go out and unplug and replug the vehicle is probably very annoying. So unfortunately, I don't know of any other solution, but that's what I found that does work. Maybe Nissan will push out another software update to fix this. That about wraps up the video. Regular reminder that if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It really does help out. Thanks for watching.